and welcome to our channel. And by ours, I mean mine and Seven's. He's around here somewhere and he better get his butt in here because I can't do this without him. So, it's been another couple weeks, right? Remember uh, last time when I said, oh hey, I'm feeling better, Seven's feeling better, we're gonna get out and do things again. My foot is healed and his knee seems to be better and we both seem to be able to go more than 15 feet at a clip. Um, we're definitely gonna be doing more things. We're definitely gonna be doing more things. Yeah, uh, apparently I lied. Uh, <laughs> three days after I said that, I ended up with the most spectacular case of strep throat that I've had in a long time and it knocked me on the butt for two weeks, fun times. But uh, in my <laughs> in my sick solitude, I did what anybody else does when they feel like crap, retail therapy. So I did a little bit of online shopping and I picked up some, oh God, this is heavy, Plastier Paris, okay? And I managed to find some interesting looking little silicone molds. So I'm going to make some paw prints today. I'm gonna use the little uh, mister over there and get some little paw prints from him as kind of like a forever keepsake because, you know, this is why I'm doing this whole channel. He's getting on in years and, you know, I wanna make as many memories with him as possible and I wanna make each day count with him and I'd like to have something just beyond photos or whatever. I want like a little physical memory that I can hold. So I'm gonna mix this stuff up, I hope. Hope I do this right because quite frankly, I've never worked with plaster of Paris. Clay, sure, this stuff, nah, I got no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so it's gonna be an adventure. This is the first time for me and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Let's get into it. First of all, I have to find my dog. <laughs> Where is my dog? Aha, hello, sir. Hello. Are you practicing for Tongue Out Tuesday, even though it's Saturday? How do you feel about making some footprints or paw prints? You feel that good about it, huh? Okay, all right, well, uh, I'm gonna go mix the plaster of Paris and hopefully you are feeling a little bit gankier uh, by the time I'm done and I can stick your little footsies in there. What do you think? Glad we had this chat. La 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 la, I have no idea how to use this. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, flip that over. Oh geez, oh gosh. Okay, uh, one giant bag of plaster of Paris. Directions please. Oh, here we go. Mix plaster powder with water in one to one ratio in plastic containers. Stir with plastic utensils until smooth. Pour mixture halfway into mold. Wait 30 seconds to release the bubbles. Uh, filled mold to top, set for 30 minutes, remove from mold onto covered surface to dry for 24 hours. In that case, I need a plastic container and a plastic utensil. I'm gonna have to go dig for that. I'll be back again, hold on. At least this feels like it's resealable, so that's good. Haha, <laughs> boo, heat sealed, hold on. So how are y'all doing? Hope everyone's doing well. We're almost done with the second month of 2021. We're just cooking right along, aren't we? Avoid breathing dust in contact with eyes. Okay. <laughs> Aha, you see, 2020 prepared me for plaster of Paris. Kiss my grits, dust. Um, one to one ratio, <laughs> one to one ratio of plaster to water. So I'm gonna see what maybe five teaspoon, tablespoonies of this looks like with water and we'll see if that's enough to fill a mold. And if it's not, I'll add. Avoid contact with eyes. Hiya, okay. Cool. Three. Mm, 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 mm. What did I say we were shooting for? Five? Okay. Four. Alright, so this, I don't know if you can see, this is what about five tablespoons or teaspoons or whatever spoon this is looks like. And now we'll just add water and we'll mix it up and see what happens.
and I feel like, I feel like this is like the flower from hell. <laughs> Super thin. Super dense. You can see my face under here. <laughs> it looks like it's ready to go. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this. I think it's gonna be pretty, hold on. <laughs> oh my God, woo. Okay, that's better. I'm just gonna pop this into a mold and see what it looks like. And if it's too shallow to get a paw print, then we'll just, uh, <laughs> we'll just make some more. So I got these silicone molds from Michaels and I don't know, they were cheap enough. I think they were on sale when I got them. I'll put the link to the plaster and, uh, oh, <laughs> excuse me. I'll put, blah, blah, blah. I'll put the link to the plaster and the molds. Okay, um, blah, 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 blah. stir with plastic utensil until smooth. Got it, did that good. And pour mixture halfway into mold. Wait 30 seconds to release bubbles. Fill mold to top. You know, this kind of looks like ice cream, like soft serve, like ooh, forbidden ice cream. <laughs> you know, I'm used to cutting into fabrics that are $70 a yard. I had no fear just being like whoosh. Gone, $70, but this, I'm just like, eh. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go, wish me luck. Right. Um, well, I think it's as smooth as it's gonna get using this spoon. Um, I'm definitely gonna wipe this off because I have a sneaking suspicion it's not a good idea to put plaster of Paris down the disposal. Set for 30 minutes. All right, um, it is super watery. I just tried my finger in there and it didn't leave a print. So it says to leave it for 30 minutes and then pop it out of the mold. I'm gonna leave it for 15 minutes uh, and then try to put his paw in it and we'll see if it sticks, we'll see how it turns out. This may be a win, this may be an absolute fail. <laughs> Who knows, I'm leaning towards the fail because like I said, I've never used this stuff before. Stay tuned. Cross your fingers. Oh God, cross your fingers. Rule number one, save your floors. Three, two, one. Yeah, it's definitely looking smoother. I don't see so many air bubbles in there anymore. I'm just gonna dump the rest of this in here and uh, <clears throat> find his highness and stick a paw in it. Here. I think we're ready. In fact, I think I might've waited a little too long. Okay, so come here. Come here, buddy, come here. All right, come here, give me that paw. And push. And push. Oh, almost. Seven push, push. Oh, you don't like the paw, okay. One push, ready? Push, push, push. Okay, you did it, you did it, you did it. Okay, let's go wash your paws. I mean, well, okay, wait, 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 wait. don't, oh shit. That's exactly why I put that down. All right, well, turns out I actually waited too long. And that's all I could get. Huh, all right, well, We'll do this again on another day. This was, at least, I, well, at least I got the little nails. You can see that in there. That's exactly, that's exactly what I didn't want him to do. Ah, okay, all right. Go boy, go boy. Guilty trail right to his little teepee here. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Uh, Plaster fiend. What do you have to say for yourself? You got one foot barely in there and you decided to dip. <clears throat> Seven. Seven. Hello. I love you. Thank you for trying. Thank you for trying. You're a good boy. All right. It's been the full 30 minutes. It's definitely, you can hear it. It's totally solid. I definitely kind of screwed the pooch on this batch. Uh, I will try again at a later date when Seven is feeling <clears throat> generous enough to stick his paws in this goop again. I got the little nail indents, like I said before, but um, I don't know. I just, his paws are so tiny and I just feel so 
bad about trying to apply pressure and push it down. So lesson learned, put the paws in earlier, but I'm gonna pop this out of the mold and see. Oh yeah. Silicone, how we love thee. Let me count the ways. Come on. Yeah. Hey, all right, that was pretty smooth. No problem at all. Yeah, this definitely would have come out a little bit better if I'd put it in sooner, put his paw in sooner, but all right. You know, uh, I don't consider it entirely a fail. I'll take a 50-50 I'll take a half win, half fail on this. At least now I know how to go about it for next time. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put it to dry and I guess we'll call it, um, <laughs> I'll call it a learning experience. Not a win, not a fail, a learning experience. All right, this can go over here. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Thank you for swinging by and joining me for this uh, <laughs> plaster-filled adventure. And I will see you next time. Seven, you wanna say bye? Not today. <laughs> I, think I've, I think I've used up all my good points with him for the day. All right, anyway, thanks for dropping by. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Hopefully, I didn't lie this time when I say Seven and I will be able to get out and do outdoor stuff again because now I'm not sick, now I'm not hurt, he's not hurt. It's like, it's a triple play. We should be fine. Anyway, thanks for swinging by and I'll catch you next time. Bye. art seven it's art you gotta be willing to get dirty for art